Art is a universal language, one often told through paint, pencil, and paper. Illustrating an artist's point of view. And it feels like another outlet for me to communicate. Like it's honestly easier to communicate in art than it is in words. North Pole Studio is a space for neurodivergent artists. Artists like Max, Annie, and Austin. This studio has encouraged me to dream big and really strive for who I can be and embrace my potential. And these three are putting their art into ignition with their point of view wrapped around TriMet buses. Their designs driving around the Portland Metro, a sort of art exhibition on wheels. It's exhilarating. <laughs> I think that's the best word to describe it. It's amazing. It's not what I had dreamed of, really. Gosh, I mean, it's so cool. I never thought I would ever get this honor. Max Lezebnik is a portrait artist at heart. It's like I find um, just carving out the face, there's like something very therapeutic about it. And he uses that keen eye for faces in his TriMet design, celebrating neurodivergent representation. And it's basically a bunch of portraits of uh, famous neurodivergent people like Stephen Wiltshire or Temple Grandin or Judy Heumann um, with a wide variety of um, differences. And basically the idea is I want to show people that people who are neurodivergent do great things um, and shouldn't be stigmatized anymore. I put this together today, some sun, some trees, and some sky. Annie Rose Maser is known for her signature collage method called paper quilting. It's been a different point of view. Even though she'll tell you art wasn't her first love. I'm generally in the athletic issue department, like throwing the ball or doing this, and I'm good at math, um, so this was kind of out there for me, I felt at first. Now, her use of color and shape is making its way around the city. Austin Bragg has been with North Pole Studio since it opened in 2020. He's also a news buff, putting me on the spot. Now the pressure's on. You're on, Brittany. <laughs> yeah, I know, Chief. <laughs> I know you by name. <laughs> his love of the news is matched by his love for his community, and that's where he got his inspiration for his TriMet design, the city of Portland. The buildings and scenery that we're that we don't even think twice about. So, like, yeah, just transportation and architecture, cities. His art is all about the details. It's my autistic mind that does that. <laughs> um, yeah, because of my disability, it's given me the opportunity to pay more attention to detail and notice things that I guess maybe others wouldn't really notice. Austin says his autism is like his superpower, and North Pole Studio is here to help give that power a platform. Our mission is to empower artists with autism and intellectual and developmental disabilities to lead self-determined lives and careers in the arts. Katie Poye is with North Pole Studio. And we facilitate their inclusion in the arts through an accessible studio space, as well as really robust arts programming. Oh my gosh, it's become so important. And it's just so nice to have like a place where I can really um, pursue my goals. And this project partnership with TriMet not only gives artists more exposure, but also a way to earn a living. By not only having an opportunity to exhibit art, but to really have professional sales, to experience that, um, to uh, be commissioned for such an incredible project is a really big deal in any artist's professional career. Art provides this universal language, and we are so excited to continue deepening our work with um, arts organizations on a local and a national level because the impact is so immeasurable. A universal language written in self-expression. Now on the road around the Portland area.
It's so cool to see this art on display on transportation all around the city. And also something that was so great, Austin, you know, said, this is giving me so much empowerment. This makes me feel like what else is next? What else is possible? He was like, well, maybe we could do a Max train or perhaps nice. an aircraft one day. Hey, you never know, man. You got to dream big, right? right? It's so yeah. good. And North Pole Studio is really reliant on the community support. This is a nonprofit. So they're always looking for donations and support, getting the community involved. They're also part of our local gift guide this year. So we'll have links to that and you can make a donation, make a difference on KGW. Oh.